Hello Gemini, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. It helps my channel grow and it costs you nothing. Um, please remember this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates for you. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. It's trust. If you believe it, you will see it. But you've got to trust the universe. You've got to put trust into relationships. Trust you're on the right path. Trust your decision making. All these sorts of things. So let's see. I'll take three cards for you, three cards for your person, and three cards for the outcome. The Six of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. Now, there's information coming in here. There's somebody coming in with information, or somebody is relating something to you. Or it could be you gaining clarity through trusting the journey you're on here. But there's something coming to light here. And it's go you're going to move from choppy waters into calmer waters. So there could be news coming in. If you're going through challenges at this moment in time, trust issues, things will become revealed as you, as you move forward. Things will get clearer as you go along life's path. Now, this can be that you might have to discuss something with a partner. Um, or there could be, like I say, it could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius energy or somebody with that in your chat, coming to you with some information. And it's trust issues that are at the heart of this. And this is about maintaining stability here. So let's see what your partner has got to, what's going on with this person. Show me clearly, Spirit. Yeah. Judgment call. The Six of Cups. And the King of Cups. Now, this person here is somebody who's very mature and emotionally stable. If this is a person coming towards you, which it could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy, or somebody within your chart, you've got to trust this person. This is somebody who's genuine. They might not show their feelings here, but they certainly feel emotion. They don't wear their heart on their sleeve necessarily, but they're loving, they're caring, they're compassionate. So it can be that you're meeting someone here that's coming in that's a genuinely mature, emotionally mature person. And they're coming forward to communicate something to you. Um, you might have trouble trusting this, you know. Um, they've made this judgment call. Now, they're, they're not stupid because their judgment calls are based on past experiences. So if they're coming towards you, it's because they're seeing something in you that's worth having. It's you that's got the, you're, you're a bit nervous about it all. But here is somebody who's making good judgment calls based on past knowledge. Now, it can be that there's been an opportunity that you had to be involved with this person before. And they're coming back around to try again. So it might be somebody that you mistrusted in the past, but this person is definitely matured. They've learned their lessons here because they're using their knowledge to make good judgment calls for themselves. They're even more spiritually aware, I want to say. Yeah, they're more aware of life than they were when they were younger or previously around you, if this is somebody from your past. But it's definitely somebody who's uh, who can keep the head, even when there's a bit of, but things get a bit challenging. There's, they can still keep their head. And this is somebody who can bring a childlike joy to your life. And the reason I've said this, that might be somebody from your past, is because this is a reminiscent type of energy. It's past people that can come back into your life. Now, it could be somebody from a previous life that comes back as well. So this is second chances here at this. This person is matured. Uh, they're emotionally stable. They're genuine. It's just that you might not trust them for some reason. And you're listening to your intuition, please, because this is about your stability. Ooh, I'm just going to get the cards. Just be two minutes. Just give me two seconds. So we got three. So let's just see what the three are. Oh my goodness me, you're not going to believe it. Six, seven and eight. Flipped out. So what we've got here is we've got the six, which is a very well balanced uh, opportunity coming in here. This is somebody, like I say, who could be a good partner for you now. It's somebody who could even if it's somebody you haven't met before, they're very well balanced. This is, could be a very reciprocal relationship, if everybody working hard on it. Both parties are prepared to invest in this relationship if you choose to take it up. There's, uh, there'll be equal give and take. You won't be doing all the work. It's patience. It's being prepared to nurture the relationship here. 
And it's being prepared to focus, make the commitment and work on the relationship that's highly important. So there's a lot of growth here, a lot of stability. Remember, this was about your stability here. There's a lot of stability could come from this. So this is another good union. I've had good union cards for nearly everybody here. Um, so beautiful, equal give and take, nurturing, having the patience to work on the relationship, every put, putting hard work in and things can flourish. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.